Step back in time to 1976 and remember the TV series about World War II aerial combat that brought excitement and drama right into our living rooms. This show was more than just thrilling air battles. It had a mix of humor, surprising twists, and touching moments that kept viewers hooked. Think about your favorite Hollywood actor from the series or any special memory you have linked to it. The series focused on a group of unconventional fighter pilots in the Pacific during World War II. It stood out for its combination of action, drama, and stories about the characters. As you think back on this show, we're interested in hearing about your favorite moments or personal experiences with it. Did the show have a special influence on you, or does it hold a dear place in your heart because of a memorable time in your life? We'd love to hear how this show has been memorable for you. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. The TV show, set in World War II, was both fun to watch and informative. It focused on the Pacific side of the war, which isn't often shown in movies or TV, giving viewers a wider view of this global conflict. The characters came from different backgrounds and had unique personalities, showing the different ways people experienced the war. This made the show relatable to a wide audience, as many could see themselves or others in these characters. What made the series stand out was how it showed would the importance of working together and supporting each other among the pilots. This focus on unity and helping each other through tough times is a valuable lesson even today. The mix of action and personal stories in the show reflected the real complexities of life, with intense moments of conflict and times for emotional growth. The show also encouraged interest in World War II history and sparked conversations about the war's events and its effects on society. It became a way for people to understand the more personal side of war, not just the strategies and politics usually taught in history classes. Its lasting effect is seen in how it influenced the way war and its participants are shown in later movies and TV shows. By focusing on a group of unlikely heroes, the series highlighted the ideas of resilience and bravery against great challenges. This view of heroism has shaped how other stories portray war. Today, the show is still relevant because of its timeless messages about bravery, friendship, and the complexity of human emotions. It reminds us of the sacrifices made during a very chaotic time in history and encourages current and future generations to learn from the past. In a world that still faces conflicts and divisions, the show's themes of unity and understanding are very relevant. In summary, the series is remembered not just for being entertaining, but also for its educational value and its lasting influence in today's world. The TV series really changed how later movies and TV shows talked about war. Before this series, most war stories were all about the battle plans and political stuff. But this show focused more on the people in the war, showing their feelings and what they went through. This new way of telling war stories influenced a lot of other shows and movies. They started to show more about the lives and relationships of soldiers, not just the fighting. This approach made war stories more about the people in them, which has become common in war-themed media today. Also, the series was known for having a diverse group of characters in a military setting, which was pretty new at the time. This show was a more realistic picture of the military and encouraged other films and shows to have a variety of characters too. The way these characters, all different from each other, work together as a team really connected with viewers and has been used in many stories since then. The mix of funny and serious moments in the show was also something not seen much before in war stories. This balance made the story more engaging and realistic, and a lot of other shows and movies have copied this style. They also mix humor and drama now to show the complex nature of life in a war zone. In the end, the show is remembered for changing the way war stories are told. It focused on the personal stories of the characters, influenced how diversity and teamwork are shown in media, and mixed humor with drama. It did more than just entertain, it also taught us and changed how we tell stories about war. In creating a realistic portrayal of World War II aerial combat, the production team faced a significant challenge due to the lack of flyable A6M0 fighters from that era. To overcome this, they ingeniously used American at 6 Texan trainer aircraft, modifying them to closely resemble the Japanese Zero fighters. This creative solution demonstrated the show's commitment to authenticity in depicting the historical aircraft used during the war, despite the limitations in sourcing the original models. Remarkably, the show maintained a high level of popularity evident in its substantial viewership. 
With 32 out of every 100 televisions in the United States tuned into the show at the time of its broadcast, it captured a significant share of the audience. This level of viewership reflects the show's widespread appeal and its success in engaging a large segment of the television-watching public. An interesting detail that adds to the show's character is seen during the opening credits. As the wheel chocks are pulled from the aircraft, a chain-link fence is visible in the background. This minor yet noticeable anachronism inadvertently adds a layer of authenticity to the show, as it subtly reminds viewers of the production's real-world setting, contrasting with the historical narrative being depicted. The series, in its portrayal of World War II, did more than just entertain. It offered a unique window into the war, bringing to light aspects of history and human experience often overlooked in traditional war narratives. Its dedication to authenticity, significant viewership, and attention to detail contributed to its lasting impact on the way war stories are told on television. The series presented an engaging narrative of World War II combat intertwining historical elements with character-driven storytelling. A notable aspect of the show was the nickname evolution of its central character, Major Gregory Pappy Boynton. Initially referred to as Gramps due to his age being significantly higher than that of his men, he later earned the affectionate nickname Pappy. His change, sparked by a song from one of his men, was further popularized by war correspondents. The show's aerial sequences were a defining feature, most of which were filmed off the coast of Southern California. The picturesque Santa Cruz Island, particularly its southeast-facing coast, became a familiar sight to viewers, especially during the closing credits. These sequences added a visual authenticity to the series, capturing the beauty and vastness of the Pacific theater. However, the show faced challenges, one of which significantly contributed to its cancellation. The loss of rights to use actual World War II footage hindered the show's ability to continue delivering its historically rooted narrative. This loss was a crucial factor in the decision to end the series, demonstrating the importance of such authentic materials in creating a believable and engaging historical drama. In conclusion, the series was more than a mere depiction of war. It was a blend of personal stories, historical authenticity, and visual appeal, all contributing to its unique place in television history. The nickname evolution of its main character, the scenic aerial footage, and the challenges faced due to licensing issues are all key elements that defined its narrative and production. Originally titled Ba Ba Black Sheep, the series underwent a name change to Black Sheep Squadron in its second season, following its initial cancellation and subsequent revival by NBC due to low ratings. This new title was also used in syndication. The show's opening song, featuring a line from the Whiff and Poof song by Bing Crosby and Fred Waring and the Glee Club, reflects the theme of lost and stray characters resonating with the experiences of the fighter pilots depicted in the series. A notable casting change occurred after the pilot episode. Jake Mitchell originally portrayed Boyle, but Larry Minetti took over the role for all subsequent episodes. This switch in actors for a key character is a significant detail in the show's history, marking a continuity in character development despite the casting change. The series, with its distinctive approach to storytelling and character portrayal, offered a fresh perspective on war narratives, focusing more on the human elements than on mere battle strategies or political maneuvers. Its influence extended beyond entertainment, impacting the way war stories are portrayed in media, emphasizing personal experiences and emotional journeys. This show's legacy lies not just in its compelling narrative or high viewership numbers, but also in its cultural impact, shaping how war-themed media is crafted and perceived. The combination of historical authenticity, character evolution, and unique storytelling has cemented its place in television history as more than just a war drama, but a source of learning and reflection on human experiences during wartime.